the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we are going to help this noob reach third C using the superhuman fight style. So where can you find it guys? You can find it in the second C, Snow Mountain in this area. For the requirements, you need 3 million bellies, and 300 mastery on Water Kung Fu, 300 mastery on Dragon Breath, 300 mastery on Dark Step, and last but not the least, 300 mastery on Electric Fight Style. So after grinding that mastery and 3 million belly, you may then buy the Superhuman. Okay guys, so we are going back to the first C to grind mastery. So we're gonna start here with the Fountain City with the Galley Pirates. If you want level, go with the Cyborg. If you want mastery, go with the Galley Pirates, okay? No need to worry, you only need to punch your enemy 5 times and you're gonna defeat it. Kinda easy to grind here. So when you reach mastery 110, you will unlock its first skill, the Beast Owl Pounce. The bad thing with this is this is just a single target skill. So if you're grinding masteries, this won't help you much. But don't worry guys, at mastery 220, Thunderclap is an AoE skill. There you go. This can damage multiple enemies, which will make our grinding a little bit faster. Okay, so at 750, back to the second C. We're gonna start with the mercenaries. So you're gonna lure three at a time. There you go. Again, turn on your observation hockey, use your skills, and boom. Your target level here is level 775 and yes guys, we are going to skip the diamond quest, stat check, melee 1374, defense 950. Okay, next up guys, the swan pirates. You're gonna defeat 8 here so you can lure 4 at a time. You're gonna need to do this twice to finish one quest. Don't worry guys, they're easy to defeat. And always turn on your observation hawk. Goal here is to reach level 850. Next up, Jeremy. Only no door here, his patterns of attack is very easy to master. Just dash to the side. There you go. Very easy to dodge. But don't worry guys, I'll give you a choice. You can stay with the Swan Pirates or do server hop with Jeremy, okay? As long as you reach level 900, stat check, 1609 melee, defense is 1090. Next area, the green zone. First target, Marine Captain. So guys, lure them without hitting them in order for you to dodge their long-range attacks. And after that, you can use your X skill, use your left clicks to defeat them. I know they're kinda hard to defeat, but don't worry, just 25 levels here. And after that, next up, a mini boss in this island, Fajita or Fujitora. If you followed my strategy, you will be unlocking your C skill here, the Conqueror's Gun. There you go, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, guys, there's a high chance that you will get hit. So every time you use your skill, make sure to just distance okay we're gonna do server hop until you reach level 1000 we're gonna skip the zombies and the vampires next area the snow mountains so here you're just gonna defeat the snow troopers or four same strategy X skill defeat them with your left clicks for those who want to make the things faster just use two times experience code okay you're gonna live here at level 1000 let's check our stats 2039 melee defense is 1260 Okay, next area, the hot and cold. Enemy here is the lab subordinates. Guys, defeat four at a time. Always turn on your observation hockey. Next target is at level 1150. The smoke admiral. Guys, he's very easy to defeat. And we're gonna do server up here. Guys, I'm gonna show you one Z skill, right? C skill and one X skill. Check the HP. Almost one fourth. I mean, more than one fourth. And the damage of your left clicks is also high. So, guys, turn on your observation hockey. Use your left clicks and check the damage. Oh, by the way, I hate this character in One Piece, Smoker. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna leave this area at level 1250. Next area is the Cursed Ship. So our first enemy here is the Ship Deckhands. You're just gonna lure four guys. You can do the wall strat here. Just go inside one of these rooms. There you go. Or if you want, you can make things harder by just going out and using your left clicks. Okay, this is the area where you can get, what do you call this? The V3 Goal Race, Goal Mask, the Midnight Sword, so make sure to grind Ectoplasm. Next mob is the Ship Stewards. No wall strat here, so grinding here is a little bit harder compared to the Ship Deckhands, but it's fine guys. You're gonna live here at 1350, and your next grinding area is the Ice Castle. So here, 
We're gonna defeat the Arctic Warriors. There you go. They're just here. Door 4. Defeat them easily. Same with the other mobs. The wall strat here. 1,400. The mini boss in this island is the Awakened Ice Admiral. So you can get the library key and the hidden key win this boss. So it's easy to defeat guys. Just be more mobile after using your skills. Go around. Use the walls. Defend yourself from his attacks. Guys, check this out. Observation Hockey and left clicks. Let's check the damage. <laughs> We're dealing so much damage with this boss. There you go. He's almost dead. Guys, what I did here is I did a server hop until I reached level 1475. For information, the library key is for you to unlock the death step. And for the hidden key, that is the key used to open the chest where you can get the ring Goku. Okay? Okay, next area is the Forgotten Island. So here, we're just gonna defeat the Tide Keeper. So for those who's having a hard time defeating him, it's best just stay here in this rock. There's a small chance that he won't summon his CBs, but in my case, I keep on attacking him near its spawn point. So there you go. The CBs has spawned. Things were a little bit harder in the start, but I was able to defeat him. Again, guys, if you wanna defeat him without the CBs, just stay in this rock. Here guys, there's a chance that he won't summon his sea beast. But for my case, he rarely summons it. It's just that I want to defeat it. That's why I became more aggressive. Go. Let's check the HP. Uh, my HP is already in half. But it's fine guys. I was able to defeat it. So I'm going to show it to you. Boom. Okay guys. Again, your goal here is to reach level 1500. And after that, you will get a quest. Coliseum quest but guys make sure that you've finished the Bartolium quest and the Swan quest okay final stat check max melee defense is 2199 okay so let's head to the Coliseum look for the King Redhead talk to him he will let you fight Indra let's check this out there you go check Indra guys <laughs> he's moving but that's a glitch I think so we're gonna fight him make sure that he reach half HP so for us it's kind of easy guys check the damage our damage is really high with the superhuman so I think there will be no problems here go so after inflicting enough damage you will be teleported in the cafe and after that you should head to the green zone there you go and look for mr. captain talk to him and he will then send you to the third sea okay guys so I think that's it Gamer, now my question is, is there a chance that there will be Superhuman V2? I think there is, so make sure to prepare for that. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out!